Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing some cooking and we're going to make some pinwheels. We'll do four different varieties, one with chopped chip and Nutella, Vegemite and cheese, a savoury one with sausage meat and a pizza one. I'm just going to switch my camera so you can see the bench for what we're going to start with. Okay, so first off, we're going to start with our Nutella and chopped chip. We will need some Nutella, some chopped chips and some pastry. We get our Nutella and we spread it all over our pastry. So you may need to soften your Nutella a bit in the microwave for a few seconds first. Otherwise, you can just use it straight from the container. Make sure we put a nice thick layer of Nutella onto our pastry. If younger children are doing this, they may need a little bit of help and assistance from an adult or an older sibling because it can be a bit tricky to spread. So when we're spreading it, we just need to make sure we leave it a little bit at the bottom so that when we fold, roll up our pinwheels, they'll be able to stick together. So once we've got our Nutella spread out, we can then sprinkle it with chopped chips. You can put as many as you like on here. It's really personal preference of how many. You don't want it super overloaded because it will make it a bit tricky to roll. So once we've got our pinwheels covered in our chocolate chips, we can then start rolling it. So you want to start rolling it from the end that has the Nutella right to the edge. So just fold it over about a centimetre and then peel off the backing. So you will need to make sure that your puff pastry is defrosted before starting this recipe. So we then keep rolling it up. And then once we get to the end, because there's no Nutella on that end bit, it will stick together. So we then just fold it over and we can cut it into eight. So we just, just gently cut it into half and then quarters and then into eight. This is a super easy and quick dessert recipe. So we can then, we then pop it on our tray with the folded base at the bottom. So this will allow it to not split open when cooking. Because there's not a lot of ingredients in these ones, they don't roll up as a super circle, but you can flatten them out. You can stand them on the side as well to cook but we generally just cook them like this. So that's one super easy recipe that you can do for pinwheels. And next one is another easy one that we can use. It's great for school lunches. It's Vegemite and cheese. So first off, we do like we did with the Nutella. We just spread the Vegemite onto the pastry. Again, it's personal preference of how much you would like on it.
that's entirely up to you. So we'll just leave that little bit at the end for rolling. And then we can sprinkle it with some cheese. So I'm just using tasty cheese, but you could use mozzarella, you could use parmesan. You could pretty much use any sort of cheese you would like. Okay, and we do the same thing with the last one. We start at the top, fold it over a little bit to remove the backing. And then we just keep rolling it up. So once we've done that, we can cut it into eight again. You can make them as big or as little as you like. You could make them even smaller so that they're more bite size. It's entirely up to you. And then we place them on our tray, ready to go in the oven. These are great for school snacks in the lunch boxes or just for an afternoon snack. when you're putting them on the tray you want to leave a little bit of room between each of them because they will expand a bit you don't want them too close together otherwise they will all stick together for our third pinwheels recipe we're going to be doing pizza with the pizza one, you can use pretty much any ingredients that you like. Today, we're going to be using pizza sauce, ham, salami, and cheese. But you could put pineapple on it. You could put capsicum. You can use either shredded ham or the ham slices. I will show you both ways. So first off, we need to spread the pizza sauce over the puff pastry. Again, it's personal preference of how much you would like on your pinwheels. So on this first one that I'm doing, I'm going to use the sliced ham. So yeah, for this one, we'll use the sliced ham and we'll just spread it out onto the puff pastry. Again, just making sure that we don't go right to the edge. And then I'm gonna put a bit of salami on as well. So I'm just using the slices of salami too. And then we can just pop some cheese on top. So these ones are a bit trickier to roll because you've got more ingredients on them. So the children might need a bit of help if they are doing it themselves. So first we start at the top and then peel the backing off and then roll it over. And then just like the other ones, we can cut it into eight.
So these ones are just like that on the inside. So for the other option for the pizza pinwheels, I will show you now. The other option is using shredded ham. So again, we use our puff pastry and our pizza sauce. And we spread it out. A little bit more. And then we can use our pizza ham or the shredded ham. You don't want too much on because otherwise you won't be able to roll it up very well. We just need to spread it out a little bit. As I said earlier with these ones, you can pretty much use any toppings that you like to have on a normal pizza. So today I've got the shredded salami as well. So I've just cut it up into strips just to show the different options that you can do. And I'll use some cheese. So this one's got lots on it, so it might be a bit trickier to roll. Let me start from the, the end that has the ingredients right to the edge. Roll it over. You can use the blue plastic on the puff pastry to help roll it if it gets a bit tricky. And then we can just cut it into eight. So I'll show you what these ones look like on the inside. So these are similar as the other ones, but just using the shredded ham and the cut up salami instead of the slices. Okay, so the, the four pinwheels that we're going to do today, I'll just wipe the bench quickly, is a savory one that uses sausage meat. So in this bowl, I've got just one packet of sausage meat and I'm going to add some parsley. Just need a little bit. It doesn't have to be a lot. It's personal preference, again, of how much you want to add. If you add a little bit and then you can always add some more. So the other ingredient that we're going to be adding is garlic granules. So again, if you add a little bit, give it a good mix up. You can always add some more in if you think you're wanting some more. So these ones are great for a lunch or even if you're only wanting a light dinner or for a snack as well. They're good to be, any of these pinwheels are good to be eaten hot or cold. They're great to go in lunch boxes, cold for the kids or you can just reheat them the next day in the microwave or in the oven. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more garlic and a little bit more parsley and then give it another mix. So then it will look just like that. So we'll then grab our pastry. And again, we can spread it over the pastry. It's up to you whether you want it thick or a bit thinner. And just give it a good spread out. If 
but just make sure you get it right to the edges so then you'll get some of the filling on all your pieces. And then we can roll it up again. This mixture can also be used for making sausage rolls, just the standard way of doing the sausage rolls. You can add grated vegetables as well, like grated carrot or zucchini. You can add pretty much anything that you would like into it. So again, once we've rolled it, we can cut them up. I generally do the eight, but you can do however big or small you would like. So these ones are like this inside when they're not cooked. They will rise a bit in the oven. And then once they are cooked, they'll be nice and golden brown. Normally, probably about 20 minutes, but depending on the oven will depend on how long you'll need to cook them. If you just keep an eye on them throughout the cooking process, you'll soon find out once the puff pastry is cooked and just ensure that the sausage meat filling is cooked through on the savoury ones and then they'll be good to come out. I hope everyone enjoys making the pinwheels and we will see you another time. Thank you.